That's lovely. Okay, now nice big smiles, my good me. Thank you. Lovely. Okay, can I just get the godparents now, please? Come on, it's not a funeral. <laughs> can I get a couple of smiles out of you two, please? Maybe give her a little kiss, you know, on the forehead there. Uh, oh, I was talking about the baby. Lovely. All right, Kenny, son. Oh, I suppose. It's just panicking then. <laughs> Sit down. I just want to see what he's saying here. Do you watch this? Yeah. You know anything about that in Croydon? Uh, it's news to me. We've just had some of that um, taboo come in, you know, the old path under the toilet. Oh, yeah. That's a bit of a drop ball from Chanel, isn't it? Oof. How about this? 10,000 embassy tips. He was talking about those earlier in Romford. Yeah, it does ring a bell. I'll have to have a little look in the old incident book. It will keep him peeled, eh? If it is, or you saw anything. You get some good tips off this programme. I shouldn't really drink on duty, but uh, I do. <laughs> so what do you want then, Spud? I need a favour, Kenny. Shaky Young. You're lot still after him? Nah. We're happy with him up in his sister's loft. What? So you know where he is, then? Blimey, Spud, who don't? He's out of arm's way up there. And what would Jeannie do in his mills? He's saving a nation 40 quid a week, eh? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. What if he was to turn up at his brother's funeral? Well, we was to come down the loft, go to the funeral and go straight back up afterwards. Would you be all right with that? Yeah, there's a drink. I'll sort you out, Ken. Always do, don't I? A consignment of teacher's whiskey that never made it to its destination in There you are. You like scotch, don't you? Oh, uh, Bell Extravaganza Year 7. <laughs> I really liked all that. I even thought about going to stage school for a while. Mum made me see sense, didn't you, Mum? <laughs> well, uh, come on. Let's turn the page. We've started now, you may as well see the worst of it. <laughs> they disappeared exactly one month apart. And now this. Bruno Wallace. There's any picture his sister could find, sir. Looking at the pattern, you know? And what does it tell us? It tells us school term ended and three teenagers out of several hundred decided there might be life outside of a town that makes square pies. We can't just ignore this. In the match, we had three missions a day. Ask me if we investigated them. Did she? No. No. Ask me why. Why? Because the minute you did, they became unmessy. They got over their little hissy fit, came back from holiday, or sobered up. Some bits and bobs in. Liver failure, you said, yeah? Yeah. I used to drink a lot of booze. I think it all started when he was a kid in care, you know. Yeah, he, he went to a, a good home, didn't he, when he was adopted? That didn't really work out too well. But they said he went to a nice family. They all said it was for the best. What was he like? Can you stop asking me questions, please? Was he ever happy? Or, or good at anything? Was. Must have been good at something. He must have had some talent. What do you want me to say? I want you to tell me the truth. He was a thief, all right? A total klepto. Yeah? He couldn't help himself. He was chronic. He cleaned me out twice. Yeah, he's one of those blokes, you know, who's always saying what he's going to be doing, but it didn't seem to work out. I used to call him flaky, you know? I think you better leave. Ten rounds. Interview with the mate we come, thank you very much. Requesting backup. Three detained. Pine Lodge, Barn and Woods, over. Under arrest. 
You don't have to say anything, but anything you do Catch say... Catch him on this young man! Can we all just shut it? Sorry. Turn around. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, that's I said shut it! Also, please advise uh, four other suspects still in the area. Not so tough now, are we, fella? They were a gift from the Archbishop. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 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 